It's time to turn to some political experience to look at some of the big picture issues in Ontario and across the country. And for that, let's bring in former Liberal advisor and journalist Ray Hurd. He is with us from Toronto. Good to have you on the show, Ray. Good to see you, Daniel. Let's start off by talking about the, I guess, the campaign event. I'm not sure exactly what to call it in Winnipeg tomorrow for the federal liberal leadership race. Many interviews of liberal candidates. Your thoughts? Well, I speak from experience. I co-produced the first ever political debate between Trudeau, Broad, Benton, Clark when I was at Global. And when I was with John Turner, I coached him when he beat Mulroney in the 88 debate, having lost the 84 one. So given that I may know something, the first thing I want to say is you, to you is this. The Liberals should be charged for false advertising. That Justin Trudeau and everyone are telling me on Twitter, this is a debate. It's not a debate. It's a discussion. And it's going to be as boring as batshit because the guy asking the questions is a failed liberal candidate, not from Winnipeg or Saskatchewan, but from Calgary. So the way I see it, it's not a debate. This guy's going to ask softball questions. If anyone thinks a former liberal candidate who wants to be a future liberal candidate is going to play hardball, forget about it. So in that sense, whoever is responsible for staging this fiasco, a boring circus, a boring gong show, should be held accountable by liberals. I want to know, I'm a liberal, why are you guys staging this thing? Why don't you have a proper debate? And the reason they're not having a proper debate is they know that Justin and the others end up with their feet in their mouth in real debates and can make problems not only for themselves but the party. So what they're doing is damage control and damage control doesn't work in the era you and I live in and work in. So the, this is being stage managed. I'm trying to read between the lines here, but this is being stage managed as a way to make sure that the favored candidates don't flub. Yes, and Justin has won. It's over. It's finished because of his followers on Twitter, nearly 200,000. They're all going to vote for him. And as I keep saying here on Sun, please remember the next liberal leader is not chosen by liberals. Anyone and her brother can vote. Anyone can vote online, and given that Justin has 200,000 odd followers on Twitter, he'll tell them, vote for me now, go to this link, it's finished, it's over, it's a waste of time, but under the constitution of the party, there has to be an election. Most of these people, Martha Hall Finley's doing well, she's smart, Mark Garno's doing well. It should be a race between those three people. The rest are has-beens, washed up people who have no real chance and the reason they are running a is they could collect seventy five thousand dollars to throw down the drain in return for months of free publicity from the media which has this dumb idea that you have to pay equal or almost equal attention to all of the candidates when only three of them deserve serious attention. And if I was still running a newspaper, which I did, I would say to my staff, let's focus on the three people who have a realistic chance, not on the bozos and the clowns who are running for their own ego trips. I don't like ego trips that don't end in some sense of power. Ray, I, I just want to get a quick word on the possibility of an Ontario election. It looks like Kathleen Wynne doesn't want one. Do you think we're headed for one anyway? If, if the two opposition parties have any brains, they'll pull the plug on her. She's having a throne speech. Vote it down. Have an election. Let the people of Ontario decide. If there is an election, Wynne will lose for sure because they're three of the biggest scandals this side of Quebec, in Ontario, which she was part of. There's the orange air ambulance scandal, there's the moving of power stations to win votes, and there was the health care scandal over electronic records. Those are three. And if there is an election soon, and if the opposition has the guts to pull the plug, 
and I think that the NDP may win it because the teachers and others will vote for them in a low turnout. Wynne is terrified if she has an election like my boss John Turner did, like <laughs> Kim Campbell did, soon after coming in unelected to power, yeah. she's toast. So yeah. she is determined to hang in. Um, it's up to them. It's an opposition party decision and if they're smart. Now there may be the reason is Hudak uh, kind of looks like one of the chipmunks. He's not exactly the most photogenic, cosmetic, telegenic guy. So maybe Hudak is afraid that if it is an election, he's out. I think Horvath is safe even if she loses. So Hudak really should have the guts to come out with a team approach Frank Cleese is, in my view, the best qualified to deal with the issue on TV. Mm. And that's what's going to happen if she pulls, the, if they pull the plug on her. She wants to hang in because she understands that Canadian history says a leader who has an early election is almost certain to go down the drain. Especially if you have inherited the poison chalice. The, the chalice and the other thing is yes. the terrible deficit and debt that as we've just been told, yeah. is worse than California. Right. Thank you very much, okay, Ray. Okay, well, good to be with you.